I'm Frances Schefter with Schefter Law PA, and today I'm going to tell you a secret. I'm going to talk to you about something that schools don't want you to know. Three little letters, P-W-N, prior written notice. Now, first of all, prior written notice is confusing to begin with because it does not happen prior to anything. Prior written notice is when you ask the IEP team for a specific service, accommodation, and the IEP team says no. You ask them for a prior written notice. What this is, is that the school needs to say that they considered it, but did not provide this service, did not agree to giving you the service for these specific reasons. They have to justify to you, the parent, of why your child does not need that service or accommodation. Schools don't wanna to have to do that because usually the reason is funding, but schools can't do that. That's completely against the law. They cannot say a service is not being provided because of money. If your child needs the service, the school has to provide the service. So the next time you're in an IEP meeting and you think your child needs something and the school gives you pushback, ask for a prior written notice. Some states call it different things. In Florida, I've heard it called a letter of refusal but it's the same basic thing. It's the school is refusing a service and they need to give you a justification for why. And if you're not sure or you need help figuring out if what you're asking for is truly acceptable and in need of your child, feel free to contact my office at 301-605-7303. And help me get this secret out to all of the other special education families. Comment below, link below, share this with all of your friends. Help me help families get this information. Again, I'm Frances Schefter with Schefter Law PA, where we help families have a stress-free IAP experience.